Hi and welcome to another Powerful's Play by Play. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this game called Calculoids. It was just released last week. It's a mixture of both a card game, a lane control game, uh, as well as a math game. So it's very cool, very unique, and I've been playing a lot of it this week. And I've been, let's just get into it. Calculus is developed by this company called Ninja Crime. Uh, as you can see, the screen is divided up into different sections. I've only managed to unlock uh, two bosses, and it's really difficult. The second boss is really difficult. I had to always go back to the first boss to sort of grind and get more cards to make my deck more powerful. I'll go through the basic gameplay first, and I'll go into what uh, the customizable aspect of this game, as well as a little bit into uh, the IAP involved. So let's just go and fight fancy bots. Uh, as you can see, there are tons of achievements you can get within the game. I don't know what you get if you manage to complete all the achievements, whether there's some kind of extra bonus or you know, rare cards. But uh, yeah, it's something that you can you can definitely play again and again to try and achieve each of these different achievements, uh, varying the the way you play each game. So you start the game by choosing a deck. Uh, you construct your deck before the game. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this is the actual game screen. Okay, you're fighting um, Fancy Bot, and he goes first, and he gets to summon his uh, Reality Scrambler, okay, which does nothing for now. Okay, uh, there are two types of units. You have your green units, which is what you see here, what he's summoned right now. These are pusher units. What they do is basically they push the enemy. Uh, units back towards their own base. Okay, the AP is the amount of attack power they do, the HP is their health, uh, different aspects of the card, the, it costs 12 to play, I'll show you how unique that is in a minute, and it's also a common card. Okay, so after you've summoned your units, uh, your units will automatically advance and shoot stuff that's in their way. Okay, now it's my turn to play, as you can see this is my hand of cards, I've got uh, two green troops, which I said, like I said, are blockers and they tend to push back the enemy troops. I've got two red troops, which are more uh, offensive based. They usually have a higher firepower and higher AP. And I've got actions, which are the purple cards. Okay, so what you do is you play units into uh, the three lanes you see at the top of the screen. And they will advance towards the opponent's base, clearing whatever enemy units in their way until they get to the end, uh, which they can then attack the opponent. The objective is of course to get your opponent down to 0 HP. Alright, so how do you play these cards? Uh, as you can see I've got some pretty high cost cards in my hand. I've got 72, 62 and a 52 Cosmo Cat. So in order to summon these cards you have to use the keypad on your right of the screen. Okay, so uh, you can see it's a little mini calculator and you have, like what math, like what uh, Fancy Boy is saying, use math to make the cost of the cards. So for example, if I want to summon the SMC P1 tank, 72, I could do 7 plus 2 to make a 9, and times 8 to make a 72. Now I can use it to summon the P1 tank, and it will appear in whichever lane I uh, tap. Okay, so let's see if I can make use of all my cards, all my numbers here to summon my cards. There is a bonus if you manage to make use of all your numbers in one turn. What happens then is you get a new set of numbers to use for the current turn. Okay. If somehow or rather you can't manage to finish your numbers in one turn, you can fight. Uh, you can just click the fight button and units will try, will move along. But it's always good to sort of finish off the first hand so you get a new set of numbers and you can summon more units with them. Okay. So let's try and uh, see what we can do. We can do a uh, 6 times 3, 4 and 18 to bring the skirmish trooper out into lane A. Okay. And then let's buff our skirmish trooper a bit. 8 plus 4 and buff it up. Let's see, I finished my uh, numbers and that gives me a new set of numbers with my current cards. Okay, so I can try to summon my Cosmo Cat now by doing a 9 times 4, 36, and I would need another 16 more 
uh, 7 plus, oops, ah, the clear button there sort of resets your calculations in case you did anything uh, wrong. Okay, let's get back to it, 9 times 4, 7 plus 3 plus 6 plus 36 is 52, I won't be able to get the 62, will I? Probably not. Uh, it's okay, let's get a Cosmo Cat in lane B. Okay, and that's it. I'm done for today. I just click fight. Okay, and now uh, Fancy Bot will play. He'll move his troops. Uh, looks like he's not something and summoning anything. Okay, that's good. Let's try and see what we can do with our hand. Uh, you can double tap on any unit to get more info. It'll tell you more about the rarity uh, as well as any special abilities like Motor Reavers here. You see that. When they deploy, they get two motor reavers, and uh, their allies will just get an additional one AP, additional one attack point. So that's good to put in a lane with lots of enemy soldiers. See if I can take them out now by getting a combat cycle in. What does the motor grave do? Okay, motor grave can actually uh, clear a bunch of troops on our end. Um, your pushers, if you look at my Cosmo tank in the middle lane, if your pushers manage to push an enemy unit all the way back to their base, it destroys it. So that's one way to uh, destroy the unit. At the same time, it provides cover for your uh, units that are coming in from behind. Uh, let's try and get a combat cycle up. I think that should be pretty simple. Combat cycle's ready. Okay, when the game's over, I mean, every time you, you finish a round, uh, you'll be brought to the summary screen where you will be able to get more cards. Okay, I've got a clone trooper, gorilla strike, and an extra one, so that gives me a way to customize my uh, calculator as well as my deck. So your deck can contain uh, 30 cards, up to 30 cards, which you can then uh, mix and match with whatever you've got, um, whatever you acquired within the game, and whatever you've uh, uh, have before the game. Okay. So I've got a ton of cards. You can customize your heart's content. Okay, uh, you can also edit the numbers in your deck. Okay, so this allows you to have a bit more versatility when it comes to uh, deploying cards onto the battlefield. You have more numbers, you have more options. Right? Uh, so that's Calculots in a nutshell. Uh, the other thing that is I uh, would like to talk about is the in game, uh, rather, in app purchases for this game. It's free to play and it handles IAP really, really well. Okay. Um, the one thing that I do recommend for everybody to buy is the club bonus, if you can see at the bottom uh, right of the screen. The club bonus gives an additional card after every fight and it gets rid, gets rid of uh, ads. So for, for $1.99 that's a really good deal. You could also buy additional booster packs which give you uh, a fixed number of cards and these cards will also be added to uh, the loot that the commanders drop after every game. So that's Calculots. How do I find the game? It's a very very good game. It blends in the elements of a collectible card game, uh, your lane control game, as well as uh, using maps. Uh, I can see a lot of potential in this game if uh, schools were to pick it up and use it as a form of uh, teaching mathematics. Uh, very very cool concept. I applaud this, uh, the creator of this, of this game. Um, yep, so check it out. It's free on the App Store. I'll post a link to it below this video. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time.